royal doll, the magic finger. When morning came, Mr. Gray was the first to wake up. He opened his eye. He was about to put out a hand for his watch to see the time, but his hand wouldn't came out. Come on, that's funny," he said. "Where's my hand?" He lay still, wondering that what was up. Maybe he had hurt that hand in some way. He tried the other hand. That wouldn't come out either. He sat up. Then, for the first time, he saw that he looked like. He gave a yell and jumped out of bed. Mrs. Gray woke up. And and when she saw Mr. Greg standing there on the floor, the she gave a yell too, for he was no now a tiny little man. He was maybe as tall as the set on a chair, but no taller. And where his son has been, he has a pair of dog wings instead. But, but, but! cried Mrs. Gray, going far far in his in the face. My dear man, what happened to you? What happened to you? What happened to both of us? You mean? Shouted Mr. Gray. It was Mrs. Gray turn now to jump out of bed. She ran, looked at herself in the glass, but she was not tall enough to see into it. She was even smaller than Mr. Gray. And she too had a god wing instead for arm. Oh, 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 oh! Sobbed Mrs. Gray. This is witch work! Cried Mr. Gray. And both of them start running around the room, flapping their wings. A minute later, Philip and William brought it. The sta- the same thing and had happened to them. They had wing and no arm, and they were really tiny. They were about as big as Robin. Mama, mama, mama! Cheer up, Philip. Look, Mama, we can fly, and they flew up into the air. Come down at once, Mrs. Gray," said Mrs. Gray. "You're much too high." But before she could say another word, Philip and William had flown, f- flown right out the window. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Greg ran to the window and looked out. The two tiny boys were now high up in the sky. Then Mrs. Greg said, "said to Miss Mr. Greg, 'Do you think we could do that, my dear?' I don't see why not," Mr. Greg said. "Come on, let's try." Mr. Gray began to flap his wing hard, and all at once, up his went. Then Mrs. Gray did the same. Hell! She cried as she starts going up. Save me! Come on! Said Mr. Gray. Don't be afraid. So out the window they flew. Far up into the sky, and it did not take them long to catch up to, with Philip and William. Soon the whole family 
was flying around and around together. Oh, isn't it lovely? cried William. I've always want to know know what it feel like to be a bird. You wings are not getting tired, tired, are they, dear? Mister Greg and asked Mister Missus Greg. Not at all, Missus Greg said. I could go on forever. Hey, look down there! Said Philip. Somebody is working in our garden. They looked down, and there blew them in their one own garden. They saw four enormous wild duck. The duck were as big as men, and what is more, they had great long arms, like men instead of wings. The dog were walking in a line to be to the door of the Mrs. Miss Greg's house, swinging their arm and hold, holding their beak high in the air. Stop! Called tiny Mr. Greg, flying down low over their heart. Go away! That's my house. The dog looked up and quacked. The first one put out a hand、uh, and opened the door of the house and went it in. The other went in after him. The door shut. The gray, the gray flow. Flow down and sat on the wall near and do- the door. Mrs. Gray began to cry. Oh dear! Oh dear! She sobbed. They have taken our house. What shall we do?